Good day all, uh, welcome to my channel, uh, my name is Rodek. In this video today we are going to tackle another um, simply spotted beam with a uh, different low case. Um, here is, uh, I'm going to draw the, the beam that um, we are going to tackle today. Now this is our um, the simply simply spotted beam. Now we are going to analyze it, um, like uh, calculating the reaction, the shear force, and the bending moment, and we are also going to draw the the diagram. This case is a bit is different to what we did on the our previous uh, video. So uh, on this one, I will go straight quickly and. So let's get started. We will start by calculating the reaction. So here we will have uh, a reaction here at. Uh, uh, let me draw it in red. So we got R A, and here we got R T. R A and R D. <coughs> so let us start by calculating the reaction of this um, the reaction. Uh, let's start now by set our equilibrium equation. Our um, equilibrium equation. We will start by. Uh, currently, uh, as we saw last time, because this is a pin day, um, I just ignore that horizontal forces at A. Uh, so we are going, not going to go uh, our time there. So now we proceed straight on the, some, uh, some of the forces um, on the Y axis. So in this case, we are going to have R A plus R E sorry plus R D R D And we need to consider minus 50 with the point load minus. Uh, let us uh, do something quickly. I'm going to divide. I will just divide this um, UDL. This is variant DDL. I will divide it like this the rectangle part and the triangle part to make it easy for us. So this, uh, I will call this one the rectangle part and the triangle part. So what we have now, I will just first consider the rectangle part, which will be 10 times 4, 10 times 4, for the distance, the distance, distance between B and C, which is the length of the UDL. And I will consider now the rectangle, the triangle part, which will be 30 times 4 divided by 2. 
this equal to zero. So this is our we can call it now equation one. And um, let's consider now the moment at at a. Moment at a will give you minus fifteen times eleven. This is distance eleven. Fifteen eleven plus r d times nine minus we will do the same the triangle the rectangle part ten times four with ten times four square divided by two ten times four square divided by two minus Oh, sorry, this will be 20 because it will be 30 minus. It will be 30. Sorry, it will be 30. It's 30 minus 10, which becomes 20. Yes, so it will be 20. Sorry for that. And then the same will apply here, it will be 20 times 4 divided by 2 times 1 third, uh, 2 thirds, so it's time 2 thirds of 4. 2 thirds of 4 because you know this. Um, because the center of uh, gravity of the of this load will be at two uh, two third of the triangle yeah the, that t, the the triangle section so um, <coughs> two third that will be two third that will be two third plus three three is the distance in front of this distance here. And the same will apply here actually. So this is a, a will be four plus. Let me just something along here. Let me just modify this something along here. This will be ten. Time four time two plus three. Yes, this is how it should be. Yes. So two is a half of the UDL and the three is the distance in front of um so let's call it equation two. Now, solving equation two, we will be able now to to get uh, our r. Um, so equation two. Solving equation one. We get uh, R A equal to minus R D plus fifteen minus forty. Sorry, plus plus forty plus. 10 times 4, 40 or so. So, and this will give us
so uh, this is what we these are the, uh, our two reactions our two reaction now we need to jump onto the shear force we need to jump on onto the shear force now <clears throat> i think it's better for us to set um, an equation for our shear force based on, on the um, based on the uh, interval in which we need uh, the shear force value uh, let's draw a new um, a new diagram so that we can get it uh, more clear but the other one will be uh, a bit messy Shear force equal to twenty nine twenty six. Okay, now at X uh, Now, at, at uh, 3 inferior, less than x and less than, and less than 7, less than 7, x, um, the shear force, Shear force will be equal to twenty nine two six twenty nine two six. We will uh, use again our same triangle which we did that. So we divide this again into we got our T here and our rectangle part three and our rectangle part. So now the same principle we're going to apply to apply here. So between that, uh, from here to the shear force is equal to 29, but from the point here is from here, which is uh, is point A, point B, point C, D, E. So between uh, this is. Between B, between B and C. So basically, uh, this in uh, this place, uh, interval bet uh, between B and C. Now let's consider. So that will be ten times uh, x minus. 3 x minus 3 x minus 3 minus remember that we now need to demonstrate something here we will have because things we dividing this this is 10 this is 20 the remaining is 20 is 20 at the, at the end but so in here let's say i mean we considering that a week uh, our we cutting at, at some point here and this distance this distance that distance is so we will call it let's call it k 
so we need to get this value so at each point of x we need to get that value in order to get the shape force uh, between that interval now to get that value we are going to use that uh, mathematic uh, that trigonometry rules to do uh, k k over 20 is equal to this distance also we need to also get this distance from b to the point where we are cutting which will be a uh, x minus 3 that x minus 3 over 4 4 is a length of the udl so solving this solving this will give us k equal to k is equal to because we add this this will give you 5 and this become 1 so this will be now 5 minus t so that is the value of k and having the value of k we can easily now get that equation center that will be now that value of k minus t times times that is the area of that triangle remember this distance here from b to the, uh, the point x is x minus 3 and we have the value of uh, this portion here so we, we are basically calculating this uh, the area of this triangle if uh, the area of this triangle is that the load will be the load of that point so uh, divide by 2 so that is the value of the shear force on that interval So if you if you replace x, uh, we say x between uh, x. So we can it, it must be uh, or equal to seven. So if from three, x is equal to three to seven, we will get all the value of the shear force in that endeavor. so we can then uh, do that for x let's say for instance for x So now we, this is our shear force of the beam between uh, B and C. Between B and C. Now at seven less equal or is equal to this is um, this will be fifty that seven four kilo newton now at uh, nine if you equal to x Okay, so still
this will be uh, Uh, we can only we can also only, only take the one can it will be minus with the same thing minus plus the reaction at um, at D which is sixty five. Seven four. This is a reaction at D. Reaction at D. This will give you this is um to the left. To the left of E. To the left of E, will be that uh, value which is uh, fifteen. Yeah, that is fifteen. Will give you fifteen. Now to the right, um, or we can say it to the right of or we can. Yeah. I think better to put it this way at equal to nine. Right. Uh, equal to. 15 minus 15 15 because we're crossing the point load at we're crossing this point at the right of e we're crossing the point load which is minus plus 15 giving you zero that's why we have uh, zero shell force at the right of e so we finish with the shell force calculation let's jump now on jump on to the bending moment we are, all, we are also going to use that the same equation. We will use this same equation to uh, this same principle here to calculate the bending moment. At x, uh, we got to mainly equal to twenty nine. To six times x, so that would be nine times x, and and s will be equal to. Twenty nine X minus minus this will be the same that we had earlier. So it will be ten times X minus. Yes. Okay. Yes, this is how we are going to what we're going to get. This is what we will get. Plus the triangle minus the triangle part, which will be um five. The times okay, 
is divided by 2 times 1 third of x so that will be divided by 3 so this is a you can reduce it to this now this will give This is a bending moment equation in that uh, between that uh, interval B and C, where um, our where our um, UDL is varying. So by replacing x with a value between three and seven, we will get uh, the bending moment in that interval. So we just need to change the value of x and it will give us the bending moment on that interval. Minus twenty nine. Now at X equal to eleven. We got So, so at the moment is equal to zero at uh, s equal to eleven. So we have done this now. Capital shear force and bending moment, and uh, we will draw the shear force and bending moment on part two of this video. Thank you for watching, and see you now.